2010 R51 Nissan Pathfinder rear differential bushing in the left one is split so we'll see what it looks like under normal driving and a bit of hard acceleration. I have the diff removed from my R51 Pathfinder and a close up of the bushing. Both were cracked and split and moving up and down about an inch under normal acceleration. So time to go. Um, for me, you got to remove everything. CVs, drive shaft um, and the rear sway bar and you've got all the room in the world to drop the diff so you take all the bolts out, move the diff forward on the jack stand and um, lower it with slightly moving forward. It'd be good if you had two people to do it, I did it by myself, so yeah, and then reverse order. I'll try to cut out these diffs and let you know how I go with it. Cutting out didn't work so I bought a Toledo Universal bushing driver set um, from Repco and that worked a treat, it was much easier. Still a lot of effort but yeah, much better than using chisels and saws. So give it a go. It's just expensive, so it'll last you a lifetime though. So I use the steel wire brush with the cordless drill just to get in there and clean out any of the corrosion that was built up. And I use the Toledo toolkit again to fit the new bushings and um, they went in real easy. Use the rattle gun to get it in halfway and then use the uh, socket for the rest. Pretty easy. So to get the diff bushings out, I bought this toolkit from Repco. 
they're the only ones out of auto barn, super cheap auto. Uh, we have a, a tool king in a Bathurst and um, Repco are the only ones that had this on the shelf. There's the old bushings out of the diff and the cross member. So there's the diff out of the pathfinder. You have to take it out to get to access to push these out. So some people say you burn the rubbers out and this one was completely collapsed. I just pushed it out with my thumb. Whereas this one, well, what does it matter if you burn it out? If you're going to use a sawzall, yeah, you have to get the center out. But I bought the kit, so easy done. They sit like that on your diff. And I've got a video to demonstrate what goes wrong with them. And the torque from the motor goes through the, the drivetrain. So this one is completely terrible. That's why I went to all this effort to get rid of them. Finders are the same, so that's what I used from Super Pro. Bushings are a bit longer than the, the stock ones. So you can see how they protrude about, uh, I'd say that's three mil from the outside. The old ones didn't do that, but it says the other side has to be flush. So put the torch out. There's the other side. They're flush with the, um, this, the front. So, yep. So putting the diff up, pretty easy, straight up backwards and it's in get some nuts and washers in now yeah, gotta always keep up with the texting um, so then I went and put the sway bar back in put a uh, put blue Loctite on every bolt it doesn't say it in the manual but I did it anyway a um, bit of wriggling get it in there got the re-greased the sway bar bushings because they were very dry and rubbed through all the surface finishes so do that so blue Loctite on the drive shaft bolts, place them up one at a time. Check the manual for the torque. Some people do, some people don't. They're, they're up pretty tight. It's um, there you go. You see jack one wheel up, which and out of gear off the handbrake, chock the front wheels, and then you can spin it and it lets you turn the drive shaft and torque it as well. So, and then I marked everything with white marking paint to make sure any bolts backing out and I can see it straight away when I check it. So I'll jack up the other side in a minute. So it seems like I'm doing this really quick, but this took me about 40 minutes. So um, it was about 40 degrees outside, sweltering hot, had a headache, you know sick of laying on my back, but I've got it done. Obviously a lot quicker if you had two people and then a bit of black paint just to tidy things up. That's um, anti-rust paint, doesn't need primer, gloss finish. I've got some on the front of the car that's been on there for two years and it still looks bloody good, so it's good stuff. First run with the new bushings, see what it looks like. I'll put a coat of black paint on there just while you're under there, why not? There's no rust but it helps prevent it in the future.